Hello. Recently, I have gone to a few more thrift stores than I normally do. It's like a fun game in a weird way because you never really know if you're, you never know what you're gonna find and you never know if you're gonna find anything. Also, when you go to thrift stores, typically the clothes are cheaper, so that's also fun. Save that money, honey. Nowadays, when I go thrift shopping, I go to tons of different stores. I have a few around Los Angeles that I really enjoy, but I, they're never always good. The nature of a thrift store is that you never know what's in the store. <laughs> There's new stuff every day, so that's always great, but it's also, it makes it harder. Also, I love to double my chances because I shop in both the women's and the men's section in thrift stores. I tend to be able to fit into both, so I always check both. And honestly, most of the stuff I'm gonna show you, well, 50% is probably from the women's section and 50% is probably from the men's section. So no matter what your clothing style preference is, hopefully you'll find something in this video that you enjoy. Without further ado, these are a few things that I found in some thrift stores across the city of Los Angeles. Yay, let's start with t-shirts. I'm only gonna be showing you about 10 items today just cause I don't wanna overwhelm you. I split it up so that I have some t-shirts, some button ups, some sweatshirts, a long sleeve, and some pants. So we're, we're across the spectrum. Full looks, full well thought out looks. Also, by the way, everyone say hi to my new cacti. That's Stuart. Hi, Stuart. Do right. First thing I'm gonna show you is actually I think what I was wearing in last week's video. That there's good chance of that one. This is a yellow and red T-shirt that I. Uh, this was the only one that I got in New York City. Everything else is from Los Angeles, but I got this one in New York City. I think this is one of the cheapest ones too. It was like five bucks. It says, "Travel the Reading Highway." I promote reading. My book's link is down below. Go read it. I don't know, I really like this shirt. I like the contrasting red with the yellow, and I'm always looking to get more color into my wardrobe, so half the time I try not to go for the black t-shirts and not to go for the white t-shirts. So this one just seemed perfect. Plus the design is low-key dope. Some type of Van Gogh. Andy Warhol is shaking. I love it, it's a beautiful staple. The next t-shirt we got is a purple one. I love this t-shirt a lot because it has some natural distress in and around all the edges. So either someone did that to the t-shirt to make it look old, or it's just naturally very old. <laughs> I'm guessing the latter. Also, I love this one because it's low key, a science t-shirt. I wanted to be a marine biologist in a different life. It says, web of life, outdoor education center, whale watching. And then there's just, just, you know, just a whale tail in the ocean. I never wear anything purple, so when I found that, I was like, that's cute. Nowadays, I really prefer to wear t-shirts tucked in. I don't know, there's some sort of element with it tucked into your pants and then having like a nice belt and then a nice pair of shoes or something. For some reason, it makes me feel like my outfits are more thought out if it's tucked in. I don't know why. Next, we have a red t-shirt. See, look, all the colors are represented. This is a vintage Reebok t-shirt, which I thought was a really good find. I have yet to find a really good vintage Reebok t-shirt. <laughs> I like this sort of crest look. You can tell how old it is because it's got this little wear and tear to it. Can almost see through it at points. I totally wear this with like a pair of blue jeans or a pair of green jeans. On to the long sleeve. Oop, tag still on it. This was the only long sleeve I found. I don't own many things with long sleeves. If I'm gonna wear something with sleeves, I'm probably just gonna wear a sweater. I'll be sweating this summer. It's a personal choice. We do it for fashion. This we went hell minimal. I mean, honestly, most of my clothes are pretty minimal, but this is like the epitome of minimal. It's just a gray long sleeve t-shirt with this nice turquoise collar. And then there is, there was something embroidered. What does this say? Oh, it's not embroidered. There's something other, oh, it's a Hanes. Oh my God, is this just purely a Hanes t-shirt? Yeah, it's a Hanes brand. Huh. Interesting, just a plain Hanes t-shirt, had no idea. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it because it was, just had that nice pop of color at the top, so if I wanted to go something ridiculously clean, wearing this with like blue jeans would be blue jeans. I don't know why that sounds so country. With blue jeans. Riding in my truck with my blue jeans. Wearing this with like a denim jacket over it would look super cute. To have that blue match the blue, very cute. A good find. Next, we're moving on to sweaters. Oh, this is a sweater I found the other day and I adore it for so many different reasons. One, the Chicago Bulls. My older brother used to be absolutely obsessed with the Chicago Bulls. I'm pretty sure he really, really loved Michael Jordan like most people who love basketball at one point or another love Michael Jordan or love Michael Jordan. Michael taking off, the patented tongue comes out. Just, just in front of that line. Look at this, I don't believe it. 
available. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love this sweater because it's so worn that it is so thin. It's like as thin as a t-shirt. The sleeves are falling apart. Only time can do this to a piece of clothing. It's slightly nostalgic, fits super well. I can wear it when it's hot outside. What's not to love? Also, it was only like 30 bucks. The next sweater that we have is <laughs> one of the brighter pieces. Honestly, one of the bolder colored choices of this haul. Sea foam, perhaps? Oh, a subtle shamrock shake. <laughs> Stouts and ports. It's alcohol, unicorns, and green. My brand. It has another kind of crest look to it, kind of like that the Reebok t-shirt. And I really like gold and purple, obviously, and green at the moment. So it really fully encompassed all of those elements. Just a really cool design, not gonna lie. This would be great with just some like cut off shorts, maybe some black rip shorts or something. Be very, very cute. Next, let's go to pants. Okay, so both the pants that I absolutely love right now are two pairs of vintage Levi's. They're both in the women's section, so they fit a little different than the typical pants I'm used to buying. They, um, they don't have room in the right places. They're a little bit higher waisted and the legs aren't so tight. I'm not really into super skinny jeans at the moment. These are pretty baggy compared to the jeans I normally wear. So they're really reopening my eyes to the different styles of jeans. For the longest time, I just used to exclusively wear skinny jeans, but now I'm realizing that there are other fits of jeans. These are green. They may not look good on camera, but these are dark green. And these are like a, a soft gray. I haven't owned a pair of jeans that hasn't been black or blue ever. So to have these two in my life and love them so much is truly fantastic. I've been wearing them rolled up a ton at the bottom. I've been wearing them rolled like three times at the bottom because they're, these ones are like, these ones are like a 34 length and these ones are like a 32. And I'm very used to having like a 30 length. So I need to roll them quite a bit. Also, oh God, what I love about these, they have these paint splatters all over them. All up the leg, they have paint on them and it comes across in such a cool way. There is definitely a right and a wrong way to get pants with paint on them. And there's something about the array of colors and the different size of splatters across the legs that I think is so cool. Again, something that I feel like you can't really replicate. It just feels so unique, I don't know. But yeah, I absolutely love these and I love these and they're my two favorite pairs of pants right now. Oh, we're getting down to the end, how sad. Second to last is this nicer long sleeve button down. This is a vintage Lauf, <laughs> Lauf. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren button down. Found this one in the women's section. I'm really glad I tried it on because it fits so damn well. It's this thick, soft material and it has these lines down. It kind of, it reminds me of like a baseball uniform, like a, base, a baseball uniform or something. They have the stripes down it and there is no collar. It just buttons up right to the neck. So I usually leave it open by two buttons. Yeah, it's super thick and super soft and comfy as hell. And it looks so, Smart. Last but surely not least, something I have not yet to wear is this number. This is a button up reflective. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, how cute. I don't know the occasion that I'm gonna wear this for, but I saw it and I thought it was so cool that I think when I bought it, I said, I don't want anyone else to have this, so I'm gonna get it. It's a little bit on the small side, but I figure I can leave it completely open, wear it just with like black on black and wear it out to a club or something because it is so reflective and fun that I feel like it, it is craving a night out. She's here, she's ready to have a night on the town. So that is everything, folks. That is, that's 10 items that I purchased at various thrift stores across Los Angeles and one in New York. If you didn't know, I wrote a book a while back. I've been forgetting to promote the book that I wrote. It's called Nudge to Self. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it in the stores. The link will be down below. I spent a year and a half writing and designing it, so I highly recommend the read. Also, if you wanna make sure that you are informed every time that I upload, click the little bell down below, a little, a little bell, just a, a little bell. It's a little notification bell and it will ding you every time that I upload a video. And now leave a comment down below. What is your current favorite clothing item, color, and style? And let's discuss fashion in the comments down below. My current favorite clothing item is one of those pairs of jeans. Okay, love you guys, and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Do, 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 do. Bye.
riding in my truck with my blue jeans.